Hello, we're the Gamble PV on good time again, and this time it is the second of a free Equestria Girl special thing. Check that for a few, I'll give up information on the whole thing we're doing. Anyway, so today, this time, it is Movie Magic, written by Noelle Benzenuti, I think I can pronounce it, the Mod Pie person. Um, so, this one should be quicker because I've already explained how the whole thing works, so I can just game how I feel about it in general. So, so the, the main get kind of like to get of a Daring Do movie. Um, bearing do movie and they're having all sorts of you know, fun on the cat, but then seriously certain things are going wrong and certain props are disappearing and you have to figure out who did it. So, um, so what about, I will say I did enjoy it more than dance magic, sort of. The thing of a plot is definitely, I mean, it's still sort of a cliche plot, but it's not one we've seen before on the show, at least not to the extent dance magic, so it does feel more original. Um, I do believe artistically it's gonna come out, because I feel like the only thing I do more is a plot I'm more interested in. And I do think that one probably had more meaningful... If that, that one will try to tell a more legit story with, like, character interaction, coughing more... The... You both depth. This one, there's not much depth here. It's mostly just a fun little story, and not really a moral extent. There's a tinky bit of stuff there, but not much. So, if someone wants some of depth, in spite of maybe some language, they'll probably like that. If they would prefer something that's more entertaining but doesn't have a lot of depth, then it's this one. For me, I can take kind of leave either, but this one I kind of got more enjoyment out of. Um, okay, it's another one I didn't look crazy about, but I did like it. <laughs> I think it was a good story you have seen before, where a performance, but something is going wrong, figure out who did it, I mean it. That, it kind of. That'd be a Scooby Doo, and if you wake up, you don't go full on Scooby Doo with no meddling kids line. And they all, like, kinda do a montage type thing. Like, sort of. First of all, with no Kong this one. Okay, but not every Fetch of Magic episode has a Kong. Go, not every Fetch of Magic episode will probably have one either. I'm hoping each one of these special will have one, but oh well. Um, you know. But, I don't know, just going about the whole way, like, kinda just reminded me where. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty sure Cootie up goes with this kind of thing. And, um, King Kick you know, um, you know, a play or a movie or whatever. Um, you know, I mean, we even have, like, a corporate character from earlier turning out to have been the person doing it. And actually, came out the twist was really predictable. Like, holy crap. Like, right from the start, I called it, like, immediately. And I, and I don't get even taking, like, okay, yeah, I was like, just Based on how I kept talking in a certain line they have, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that. You know. And the characters on Mac and one person you're like, that could be that person, the third person they assume we never hit. You know? And if you're not familiar with type of story, then check bar, you might not predict it as much, but if you are familiar with the kind of story I have you will call it immediately. Will it get a huge detriment? Depending. On who you ask, I think it's playing a little bit detriment because it's not like fuck a deep mystery or anything. It just kind of kind of wish it was like someone more unexpected. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of lay out to very least to just bring out the motivation before, yeah. But it's like I don't know. I feel kind of predict all that means you have not much offense because I know, yeah. You know, one point they came close to from me for a loop because it. Yeah, you know, but in the moment I got just more of an ending issue because it's like Yeah, but I'm not I'm gonna spoil it, but if just from the way I'm talking you can't figure it out for yourself once you watch it. Or if you have but if you can't figure out enough But no I'm talking about if you have seen it. Um Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, and I, I too kinda of wish you went for could we do. Like again, maybe it was kinda of unintentional, but it remind me of it. And I wanted a meddling kid line. <laughs> That would have been fun, but oh well. And that's probably got to be enjoyable. Um, not a lot took of deep moral interaction again. I do feel about the um, but the way that she the character gets, I like. Um, um, you know, it, it kind of typical, but but fine. And uh, get quick punishment, no redemption here. Fully sort of, they were forgiven a little bit, but like yeah, they don't get enough get anymore. I'm sorry. Um. I think my favorite part is going to be opening and ending of it. Because the opening is, of course, show you know, the movie. Yeah, it's seen from the movie, but of course, going to be all cut because 
Frame Dash pointing out the mistake we made in terms of adapting the book, which I like. <laughs> they were full of human quote he to the pick of stuff. <laughs> that wasn't coming to bad, but of course, but I could power again. Yeah, but as it would have been that funny to have that there, but I uh, whatever. I kind of like the very cinematic, you know, you know, it did remind me of the other things we saw in the previous day. I do have a code called Fun Tricky Abstrade here in the opening, and then give a couple codes. Everything between the fun. But I don't think anything crazy hilarious. I feel like they're funnier stuff in the previous one because of the character interaction. But I feel like all you got was pretty amusing. I like Pinkie Pie's like sort of quest to find like a cupcake fountain, which doesn't go anywhere. To bring up one, twice, and that kind of, I think it would be funny if it ended with her buying a cupcake fountain. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think the one problem with the point is that not a lot of depth to it. It's just a clearly a little lap code, but can it go bomb 22 minutes and not 11? I feel like that is kind of an issue to extend because it's like, not, the character directions aren't that deep. You don't get that much more insight other than what we already know. And it's not like a story that we're twisted that you won't be coming or anything like that. There's a couple of stories that kind of put it a little bit of a fun moment. So, overall, it is good. Um, compared to Dance Magic, like I said, I do believe some more depth to it, but it was also, because Shane is, was less excusable than this one because it's a story that came before on the franchise. Quick one is one I have came before, at least not to the extent in, in this. Also, with PowerPoint show up, um, for rightly vague get a PowerPoint movie pending also being made that they run to get of, which I like. Um, yeah. Okay. I can't call him Guy PowerPoint, but I didn't know. Oh yeah, we technically call the peak of a human maniac in um, Rainbow Rocks, and also one of the comics, but yeah, that kind of story out was weird. We did it in the comic, um, but um, but yeah, movie magic, fun little, fun little special. I feel like if you prefer coming more depth, even if a movie, if you for special, if you don't mind if having a coming scene for some magic, then you might like that more. If that's coming to probably you might like more, but I think they're equally on a stick level, so. Well, I did like this one. Not not too special, but kind of like the kind of thing, and I kind of like episodes about movies in some way. I feel like I kind of prefer the episodes about my kids picking up a movie and all that. Cause I just love the kind of episodes. But yeah, but what we get here, they get available too. Okay, so just kind of okay. Yeah, so next week we're closing out. We special. We have Mirror Magic. Which has a very, very interesting plot to game elite. I don't know that should be fun. And then after that, I believe it will be back then we'll be out for a while because I'm watching at least episode. It is only one episode at least instead of a bunch of time, but I guess I can wait. I already know what happened because people have spoiled it, but we have an idea what happened, but I don't really care. Then, uh, but on July 10th, I will start Pen Hero Vlog because. Like I said, when I initially wanted to do them, I assumed that the show will come back soonish and it would be weekly. Now I'll come back way later and it's gonna be a bomb thing. But because I wanted to do it, I'm doing it. And uh, of course, Missing Lilo in July 22nd. So, there you go. So, for two ish weeks, I will do some pending your stuff and go over. Oh, for goodness. So, I'll show you this Saturday or Sunday. I know it's week in a row, down on Sunday. But, I don't know, on Saturday I just happened to be a little or didn't want to do it. But now, you know, today I was like, should I do it now? It's short. So, I did the thing. Um, so yeah, um, even kind of, hopefully kind of, but even Saturday on Sunday for Beer and Magic. And then that following day for the Pentagon Vlog thing. So, I shall see you then, and good night.